Okay, my friends, let's talk about the kettlebell snatch. The kettlebell snatch is kind of like the holy grail of kettlebell movements. We often kind of put it on this pedestal and it's the last kettlebell skill that we learn. And putting it on a pedestal can make the snatch feel more intimidating than it needs to be. The snatch is a more advanced move. It's very dynamic and we're taking weight explosively all the way overhead. That can feel scary, that's okay. What we wanna do is try to build up your foundation and build up your movement competency with lifts that are slightly easier, okay? When we feel confident in other movements, we're going to feel confident that we're capable of doing the kettlebell snatch. So before you do the snatch, I would suggest that you have a really strong hinge. You understand the kettlebell deadlift inside and out. You can create tension and maintain it as you perform your deadlift. This is gonna be essential. We need to have tension creation on lock before we do the kettlebell snatch. It can also be helpful to have, to feel solid with the, um, with the kettlebell clean. So we can start to get that explosiveness of the hips. It could also be good to have a solid single arm swing. The swing is different from the snatch because with the swing we project force forward, with the snatch we're going up, but practicing the single arm swing and feeling really comfortable with that can help you lock in your shoulder stability. These aren't 100% hard necessary prereqs in order for you to snatch, but I find it helpful that we practice these lifts before we get into snatching. It can also be helpful to do some pressing, know where you're gonna land at the top of your snatch. You could even do some overhead holds or some overhead carries. We want the overhead position to feel really strong, okay? So just a quick dive into the prereqs that I suggest. With your kettlebell deadlift, we wanna know what a hinge looks like, how to create tension by pulling the shoulders down the back, weight in the hips. Nothing moves through the torso, it's just hips pulling towards the kettlebell and hips pushing away from the kettlebell. To progress your kettlebell deadlift, it could be helpful if you practice the single arm. So that means you're just holding the kettlebell in one arm, you're getting that shoulder locked into place, lift and lower, okay? And you can progress up and up in weight to lock that shoulder stability in and <clears throat> to dial in into that hip hinge. From there, the kettlebell clean, which you could start from behind the heels, in front, or between the legs, many different variations of the clean. This will help you connect to your explosiveness through your hips, and also help you create force going upward, okay? Following that, the kettlebell swing. Again, working on that lat connection, getting your shoulder locked into place, core nice and tight, and it's a hip hinge, okay? Moving on from there, you could work on your press, your hold, your carry. This could also be trained in your Turkish get-up practice. There are a few different ways to go about it. Different people are gonna to respond to different methods of learning the kettlebell snatch. Some people do really well learning the snatch from the way down first. Some people will enjoy learning the high pull and then going into the snatch. Um, no way is right or wrong. It kind of just depends on what works for you. So I'll go over different options. First things first, let's think about what is the arm doing in the kettlebell snatch? What is the direction of force? All of these things. So in the kettlebell snatch, we hike the bell back, the hips extend, the kettlebell is staying really close to the body, okay? I'm gonna have a bend in my elbow as I'm going up, and then we punch the bell up overhead. From here, the shoulder will start to tip forward, we'll flick the bell forward, the elbow pulls the bell down, and then we guide it back between the legs before we go again, okay? So we're really trying to keep the bell as close to the body as we can. This might feel uncomfortable at first, and it might feel a little bit confusing. If you're used to practicing the swing, we've been sending the bell far away from the body. So you wanna think more like 
clean style, the bell is staying really close to the body. Not as close as the clean, but pretty close. Okay, 